So the last thing that I'm going to talk about in uh, developing the tonality of the figure is using all of the charcoal materials, uh, all of them on the same drawing. Uh, previously we've been focused on charcoal pencil, a charcoal pencil on white paper, charcoal pencil on tone paper with white charcoal. Uh, now I'm going to talk about adding tonality with other things that I've recommended that you buy, like vine charcoal. This is vine charcoal. And this is actually a really nice piece of white charcoal paper. So I'm not sure if you can see the texture on that, but you probably can. So uh, what I like to do at the beginning of, of a drawing, it, if I'm going to use all those tone, that tonal media, is tone the paper. And the way I'll tone the paper is to lay down just a wash of a vine or willow. Vine and willow are pretty much the same same type of charcoal, very soft, uh, can be light and uh, it can kind of blend in or softly almost disappear. If you used a, a chamois on this right now, this, it would probably just disappear. I've got a dirty chamois, which is fantastic and you probably don't, but it, it can tone the paper all by itself. So you can tone it all the way out to the edges, but you really basically need it right here where we're going to do the drawing, okay? So what it does is it does a couple of things right off the bat. Lays in a mid-value that we can use within the drawing, and it also gives you a background to work with. So I'm going to sketch, I'm going to do my preliminary sketch with the same vine charcoal that I just used. And you're going to like this a lot, I think, because... You know, if you, uh, if you don't like what you did, you can take your tissue and get rid of it. Now, that's a good thing, and it's also a bad thing. Uh, you'll find, I find a lot in, class, in the classroom that some people can't get beyond, uh, you know, a, a few marks after 15 minutes because they keep drawing and erasing, drawing and erasing. So, one of the things that we like to do at the very beginning of the class was to introduce this idea of not erasing. So, I'm going to get a quick block in, I'm going to do my eggs, there's a nice curve that uh, Barry's giving me here, um, drop a balance line, I've got my chopstick and it goes right through his knee and a little bit to the side of his foot. And I'm also going to check my proportions to make sure that they're accurate. So I want his ankle to be right there. Okay, so um, the leg's not quite directly underneath him. It's close. And this leg, I'm going to use that angle, chopstick angle to get that. The other thing that's really strong is the angle on his shoulders. So I want to make sure that I get that. And that's going to also be the angle of his hands. Okay. So I'm going to block the arms in. Get the angles. Not too much foreshortening here. Okay, so I've got a light block in. I'm going to work on top of that. I'm going to get my balance, my proportion. I want to make sure that that's all accurate. I'm going to keep doing it with vine charcoal. It gets a little messy, but it cleans up. So I finished this, this light sketch, uh, block in, proportion gesture, um, with a piece of vine charcoal. So I'll be doing that, and I'll go over this whole drawing, and then I'll be ready to start toning. So I've outlined uh, the, the drawing everywhere just lightly so I won't lose it. Now I want to come in with a kneaded eraser. And I'm just going to pull out some of that mid-value. 
or the total value that I put in, just where the lights are. And I'm not, I'm not going to be detailed with it. I'm going to be non-specific with it. I just want to get that started, and it's going to help me with my core shadows, development of shadow mapping and core shadows. And then I can refine it a little bit later if I need to. So I pulled out most of the lights, most of the highlights. You know, when you use a kneaded eraser, you can pull on it, and uh, you can get a nice clean edge that way. And you can shape it to whatever area you want to get into, little, little detail areas here and there. Okay, and now I'm going to come in with... Uh, more of a core, and I'm going to sneak up on it a little bit. I'm going to use my vine charcoal to establish that core. It's going to be pretty strong, but I'm going to blend it in. I also have this vine charcoal and I shaved it down and I have it in a holder, specially made for that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work with that. It's a, it's a little bit softer. And again, I'm establishing my core first. So I've got three values now. I've, I've got the, the tone that I originally put down. I've got the the light of the page coming through where I had the kneaded eraser. Now I'm putting in the third tone with uh, vine charcoal. You can also do this with charcoal pencil. I'm trying to show you some different things. We, we just use charcoal pencil, so I'm going to try something a little different. So the core is in. I did it with this, this uh, vine charcoal, big piece of vine charcoal. Um, in the holder. does a nice job. Fairly quick and easy. Much easier than a pencil. Just to block in large areas. And it's got a point. I made a point on it. You can do this with your fine or willow stick. You can put it on your sandpaper pad and get a nice point to it. Okay, so now I'm going to soften what I just did a little bit. I'm not going to get rid of all the vine that's there, the, the core, I just want to soften it just a little bit before I bring in some other value. You can see how strong that is um, in the dark shadow areas, cast shadows and, and uh, core shadows. Also use your finger to soften that edge. Finger is a really great tool to use. It should be strengthening it if it's a hard edge like the clavicle there. Locked in a little bit of facial feature, not much. I want to concentrate on the body. If I get a chance, I'll come back in and revisit a little bit. It's a little strong, so you know it's it's push and push and pull. You know, just a little bit more. So that's the idea. This is one way to do it. There's more than one way to work with all these materials, but I find that this is a good way for me and a lot of my students to, to get a lot of tonality in just you know, a few easy steps. It takes some time to refine, but you're going to have 40 minutes. So at 40 to 60 actually, we'll call it 40 to 60. So I would spend about 40 minutes, I'm oh, sorry. So I would spend about 20 minutes on the block in and spend another 30 to 40 minutes on tonality, whatever it takes. Now, you can come in at the end. This is You can come in at the end and you can actually refine and strengthen 
areas like this whole area in shadow here. I want to drop that in fairly easily. This, this has a nice soft edge to it. A couple more things to think about how to use the tools. Some of my students like to do this. I showed them a demo in class. Your stump, and this is really great for core shadows, accents, strengthening, And then the other thing you could do is, if you're so inclined, if you need a darker background, if you want to get a darker background, there's nothing better than compressed charcoal to bring into that surface directly on it. I'll probably blend it in. You could do either or. You can make nice big strokes. This seems like it would be a good place to use it, right up against the side of his head. And I'm just blending those strokes in with the stump. You could leave the strokes unblended if you want to. I'm just showing you one way. Okay, okay so that's a tonal approach that you can take on white paper or on tone paper, too. Um, the difference would be at the end you can add a little bit of white like I did in my last demonstration. Okay, great. I hope that's helpful. Let's try it.